Hi everybody, it's Linda, and tonight I want to um, do something relaxing again. I um, am going to be using the Kiritake paints on the GenCraft paper, and I will, I will be doodling after that with some pens and Signo um, markers, as well as the Stetler, and I just got this today delivered, the Posca pen, which I already have one, but it's a thicker um, nub. So this one's 2.25, and the one I got is 1.3, so I'm hoping to get some good use out of that. I also ordered another pen because I'm not home right now to dig into my drawer and get my other pens, so I ordered one that's coming to the house, and I will try to use the Micron uh, fine liner. Hopefully it works. If not, I'll use the Stedlers and uh, we will make do with what we have. I also have some gold paint that I'd like to doodle with and um, let's see what happens. So we're gonna be doing leaves tonight and we're just gonna do a, a relaxing activity which is excellent for practicing and um, just you know, having a nice piece of artwork when you're done. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna water my paints and we're just going to relax. Take deep breaths, let it out, and just relax. Okay, so let's see what we're going to go into. This table is shaking, I apologize for that. And we're just going to put, you know, um, leaves all around this piece of paper in different directions, different colors. You pick what you want. You know, I tend to lean towards vibrant colors. Seems to be what I go for. Love lime green. It's absolutely beautiful. And it looks really good up against blue. So here we go. It's so funny because, you know, after I do some painting, I'll go and show it to my son and I don't get a lot of um, excitement <laughs> from him, which is good. It's fine. He's a good guy. Very proud of him. Life is challenging today for younger people. It's just things are just so different and... Um, you know, I know many parents, not just myself, are concerned and we're all, you know, hoping things change in a more, um, you know, good way. You know, change for the good. And, uh, okay, here we go. We're going in. Going in, yes we are using different colors. You pick whatever color you want. And of course it's going to come out beautiful. And you know everything everything is different. Everyone's pieces are different. We all have our own little style. And that's, that's awesome. That's what makes it interesting, is that we're all doing different things. Or we could be doing the same thing and just having a different spin on it, which is interesting too. So I'm just like, you know, making lines but they're broken lines and I'm just going across this supposed leaf it's a round leaf more like a eucalyptus leaf and just playing with that very delicately 
And that's Basco inside. He's actually getting so much better. Oh my god. He used to jump. And now he's getting better. But I can't make eye contact. Because then he gets excited. Overwhelmed. He wants you to play with him. And, you know, he's big. He's a big guy. So he's getting older and he's starting to calm down a little, which is really good and he's so good around my grandchildren the negative side of having a German Shepherd is their shedding is just I mean I'm I'm vacuuming every day because I hope to God I'm in camp I'm in view yes I am so let me bring this down a little bit more yeah that's better yeah so um He's really an awesome dog. I, I love him. But, you know, I can't, I can't reach out and hug him too much because he just gets too carried away. Gets so excited. And my son is so good to him. You know, he, he lo that dog loves to play catch and he wants to see, you know, it's like 90 degrees here in Florida and he wants to be outside. I don't get it. But that's what he wants. So I'm bringing my water closer. And, I'm, you know, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try this. Let's see how this works out. It's white. As you can tell. I'm going to put the white all in there. Like that. And make this a little bit bigger. A bit fatter. Like that. Okay, now that's wet, so we're going to take some of this, we'll get the purple, try the purple. Let's see what happens. Put purple down here, and let that. Let's see if it moves. That's pretty cool, right? Look at that. Okay, now it's now it's gonna disperse around. I like that. Okay, there we go. We'll leave that like that. And then maybe we'll go in with um hmm, what should we do? This has to be colorful now. Let's get another pretty green. Get a little bit bigger, get our brush, clean it off a little. Let's go in for the pink. Let's just go in here like that. Looks like watermelon colors. Let me just scrub that in. And here we go. Oh, that looks really cute. Really cute. Is cute the right word for this? I don't think so, but you know what? I really like this. There we go. A nice little point. Let's see what else can we put in here. So we got some greens. Let's go in with the yellow, cad yellow, which is dried up a little bit. Let's bring that one right there. And cad yellow. Not 
just liking it really. No, I'm not. And I don't have any mixing dishes. Brian's plates are all like red, burgundy. His style is very patriotic. So his house is kind of set up like that. I was even thinking of making him a watercolor painting that I do myself with of the American flag. So I don't know, I was thinking about that. Let's see what happens. I, I put this on wet paper. Probably not a good idea, but you know what? Maybe it'll spread out and look really cool. Let's see how that turns out. Okie dokie. We have, um, oh wait, this is a better green. Here we go, an olive green. And I think I'm going to just wet, leave that dry like that maybe. I'll let that dry. Let's go on to something else. And let's see, do this. I think this is maroon. I think I just picked this up already. But we're going to go in anyway. This is a really pretty color. Very pretty. There we go. And <clears throat> moving along here, I'm going to pick up, I think this is yellow okra. I'm going to have to move this up a smidgen. All right, here we go. Yellow okra. Yeah, I think I used it over there. Okay, so I have to be careful because I have a tendency of being messy. So we're doing these eucalyptus shaped kind of leaves and as we know leaves are all different shapes but I want to do something just you know easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Anybody can do this. And then have fun at the end. I mean, these are great cards. You can just, you know, make journals with them. I'm going to scoop some of this up. Give that a little highlight. There we go. Okay. What are we going to do here? So we put in that olive green. I think we're going to go something light let's go in here yeah that's the ticket okay oh so another good thing happened today i ordered beds for me and ella and those came and got set up and they look really good. So her room looks really cute. All right, we gotta go over that green. I'm not liking the way that went. This went on my green. 
going to get that off. I don't want that there. Okay. Yep. 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 Now I put too much water. Either not enough or too much. Okay, so we've got to let that dry because I'm creating a mess here. Okay. And we'll, we'll have to go over that after. I'll fix it. So all I'm doing is just, you know, wet my brush and then just go over it a little bit with, you know, a wet brush, which takes up the older pan paint. And then I have to go in here and go over this. But I'll let that dry. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do here is put down a little bit of water in a circle. And I'm going to get this. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get this blue. And I'm going to put that in there. Like a circle. And then just let it do its thing. There we go. And maybe we'll come back in here and do like where this white area is in this little area. Just put a little, you know, like that. And then maybe just go around the outside. It's just great practice. Great practice. See, I'm messing up already, but I'm going to fix it. And then I'm going to go around here with the tip. This is a great brush, I have to tell you. Princeton, what is it? Princeton Velvet Touch. It's probably my favorite brush. Because I can get a pretty nice point. And there we go. I messed up. Okay, there we go. We're going to leave it. It went a little too thick on that side. I didn't want to go that thick. That's okay. All right, let's do another one. What color should we pick? Let's go in with this. This is Burnt Sienna. Okay, Burnt Sienna, here you go. Looks close to maroon, but it's not maroon. This is maroon, this is Burnt Sienna. They look very similar, but are different. do something else. We did that. Let's go for this green over here. This is, what is this anyway? Ugh. Sap Green Deep. We're gonna, we're gonna do Sap Green Deep. Where are you gonna go to Sap Green Deep? It's not a lot of room. Uh, you're gonna go, you're gonna go in here. Like that. These are eucalyptus looking leaves a little bit. So we're practice, practicing and we're doing good. There we go. Whoops. And I want to do, I don't think I have enough room to do anymore. All right, let's let this dry. Okay, so I decided to put another one down here. So I started it and then I, you know, I said, let me, let me go back on. And here we go. So I'm gonna put water in here. I'm just gonna wet that. Okay, I got too much green there. We don't want the green. That's okay though. A little bit of green won't hurt it. 
So we have this leaf, again, looking like a eucalyptus leaf. And we're gonna put some green. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the same color almost as the one that's down there. What was I thinking? That was not what I was thinking. Okay, see, so you see me making a mistake, which is actually a good thing. So let me see how I fix it, or try to anyway. All right, so we got some of that up, and then we're going to get another color. Let's go in with this maroon. Oh, I like the way that looks. That looks nice. Okay, now we're going to dry it and then we're going to do some doodling. Okay, so I dried it and I went to touch this to see if it was dry and I made this little, I don't know if you can see it, this little mistake here. But we're gonna take that and turn it into something. So hopefully this Micron, I'm using the Micron um, Fine Liner number two, hopefully that works. Because sometimes it gives me a hard time. Okay, it's working. So I'm gonna go around this. And it looks kind of like a balloon actually. So leave it up to your imagination, whatever you want it to be. And we're just going to do circles, let's see, that didn't come out. See that's what I'm talking about, I don't, I don't know why it's supposed to work fine on water paper and it gives me a hard time. I see other people using it and they have no problem. So am I pressing too hard? I don't know. I'm trying not to press hard, but it is frustrating me. I wish I had my other pens. Okay, there we go. Very lightly doing circles. And here we go. Oh, and we're stopping again. Okay, I got through it, but honestly, that was tough. So we're gonna try the Stettlers. Hopefully, I don't have a problem with them. And we will do some doodling and have some fun. So I did the um, odd circles around this, and then what I'm gonna do is just use the brush pen, which you have to be really careful with because um, the different thicknesses depend on how heavy or hard you spend, you press on the pen. And it's very, very sensitive. So you have to be careful with that. So I'm going very slowly around them and then I will draw a thicker line I think around this. And then I'll just go around the other side. Like this. And I think what we'll do now, let's try the gold pen. Let's see how that looks. I 
could be a little dark in here. I hope you can see that. It looks really pretty. So you have to be careful. Let's go down. Let's put some gold little dots in here. And then we'll do some, I'll use the stetler and go around and do some dots. I'm sorry it's so quiet. I'm trying to play music in the background and I don't know why it didn't come it didn't come in. I went on the app, I picked the music, and I hit save and it never happened. Couldn't tell you why. That's what I mean, like, um, technology is, does not come easy. Frustrates me. You know what, let's try this. Not that one, but this one.
didn't want them to be in a line, but they seem to be turning out that way. This one, what are we going to do with you? I think, nope, I'm going to use the gold. I'm going to go around you in gold. And we're just going to go around the, the areas that were bleeding with the mar burgundy. No, maroon. Just going to go around them. I love doing that. Accentuating where the paint wanted to go. This is where it wanted to flow. There we go. And you know what? I got that new pen. I haven't used it. And I did. So what you have to do is shake it first. Let me go over these white dots, see if it makes a difference. Does it? No. Maybe it's not coming out yet. So I've got to pump it because it's a new pen. And shake it. Okay, it took a little effort, but I got it. I got it. So we're going to go around this with the white Posca, and we're not going to worry about being exactly on the, on the green. It looks really cool when you don't do, perf you know, do it perfectly. There's something cool about that. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna do point. We're gonna do some shapes. Like that. And then we're going to fill that in with gold. Okay, we're going to go around here. And we're going to do this. I love, 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 love these swirlies. And we're going to go around like this. Like that. So this one, we're gonna go like this. These Posca pens are fantastic. They're actually better than the white signos, as you can see. They never fail you. So, let's go not really liking that, no, let's go over that. Imperfectly, so you see both of them. So that was done on purpose. And then we'll just outline this. It almost looks like a face. A little scary, so we're gonna have to fix that. All right. Um, not liking that. So we gotta see what we can do. I 
think it's these things right here. I don't like them. They look creepy. Let's see, maybe I'll just fill them in with gold. And we'll go around the maroon with this. Try something else. Not crazy about it, but we're going to go that's probably worse. Okay, okay that is worse, but that's that's okay. We just playing. And being a little silly at the same time. There we go. I'm gonna go around this one. This one I like. Okay, this needs some gold. Let me get the gold paint out. Okay, since we're just playing, it's just a whimsical kind of a thing here. Let's just, you know, break all the rules. Why not? And it might be too much water on this brush. Kind of looking a little cuter. A little whimsy. Okay, let's let's do um, around this. Well, that's much nicer. There we go. A little better. Okay, let's go in here. That's better. Okay, let's see. What can we do here? I think we're we're good. We just 
do a couple of little circles of gold. Gives it more of a whimsical look. Okay, we're coming to the almost to the end. Just want to do some outlining here. Just giving it a little whimsy and I'm thinking. All right, now well, here we go. So I am going to do that to the larger circles. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it done and take the tape off and reveal and see what this looks like. I just want to thank anybody that has stopped by and oops and watched my videos. I greatly appreciate that. It does help the channel. And you know, if you like it, you know, so hit the um, thumbs up if you like it. And of course, if you'd like to follow me, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you aboard. And uh, with that, this is the finished project. So let me show you up close. It's kind of dark in here. I'm sorry. Uh, let me bring this up a little bit and see if I can show you up close. So this is what it looks like. And I think I like it. It's a fun little, what a cute card that would be, huh? Very nice, cute little card. And you know what? You could give it to somebody just like this, turn it over, write something nice on the back, and then they can keep that as a momentum, maybe later on, hang it up, whatever. You know, it's cute. It's whimsical. All right, with that, I wish you an amazing day. Be safe. Be happy. Hopefully you're crafting. Hopefully I inspire you. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye.